Ooh, let's adjust that. Mm, let's adjust the uh, shutter speed. Made a difference. Good morning, YouTubers. It is Friday the 29th of May. I had to look at my phone then because I can't remember what day it is. But anyway, <clears throat> good news, everybody. The lockdown is going to be eased on Monday. Okay? Oops. So, I've made the decision that I'm going to continue these diaries Saturday, or well today, Saturday, Sunday. And I think Monday will be my final lockdown diary video. Because they do take a lot of time to, to do. I mean, throughout the day, I'm obviously just tinkering around and I'm showing you what I'm doing. But, um... Then it's editing is, you know, it's two hours. It really is. I'm not kidding. Especially if I do a HD one. If I do a full HD, then, you know, if it's 20 minutes long, it takes nearly an hour once I've got all the videos, the clips edited. It takes an hour to, to, to process on the laptop. So you get an MP3, MP4 file. And then probably another 45 minutes to, um, to upload to YouTube. So you're actually talking two and a half to three hours. But... Anyway, uh, so yeah, so I think Monday we'll call it a, call it the end, uh, and then I'll go back to metal detecting videos and model flying videos and anything else I do. Okay, so uh, just cracking with the day really. I don't know what I'm going to do. Things just happen, just like that. I might get called out. I might not. One thing is for sure, I'm going to keep a t-shirt on today because. Uh, it's a little bit tender, if you know what I mean. I'm a little bit red, just a little bit. It's fun. Today's project is convert one of these. It's a Lidl's glider, okay? Convert that to radio control. These are uh, amazing. Um, I've seen quite a few of these uh, turned into radio control airplanes and they work a treat. So this is not the one I'm going to be using because um, I've got two, I bought two of them. One's black or black fuselage and one's blue fuselage. So that is what I'm doing today. Uh, I'm filming this little bit of video at half past six at night. The I didn't complete it, but I've got uh, decent progress with it. Carry on. Okay, I've decided the project for the day is do the little glider. I don't think I'm going to be able to do all of it, um, just a lot of it. So I have got a load of carbon fibre rods which we're going to use. Uh, I've got three servos, so two ailerons, one elevator, and I've got a servo tester. They're all working. One's got a bit of a squeak. Right, so they're all centered. Uh, so, and I've also got a soldering iron. So what I'm gonna do is, um, first things first is strengthen it because the tail is bendy. So melt a line all the way down here. Uh, hot glue garden rod in there. Uh, I've got a thicker one for the main spar. So somewhere about there, draw a line, melt it, hot glue that come spar in there. That'll be one job. And then probably think about where I'm going to put the servos. Or just bought a big ducted fan to it. All right, maybe not. So that's my project, unless I get called to a job. Fingers crossed, I don't. Okay, I've just melted it with soldering iron. That should plop in there. Nice bit of carbon fiber. Oh, done. Right, that's that done. I've got to gl hot glue it. I'll take it out again, hot glue it. But I just wanted to put it in to, put, to, make the f to feel the fit. So, spot on. Right, one done. Do the fuzz next. Okay, just melted that all the way down. 
hopefully you can see that. Huh, spot on. Right, hot glue that in a position. And that's all the carbon fiber strengthening done. Cool. This is actually, this is, this is happening very quickly. This is a very easy job. I'm surprised at how quick and easy it has been so far. Just get a soldering iron and melt it. Fantastic. A quick update. Um, the tail has been, or the carbon rod for the tail has been glued. So now hopefully that doesn't flex quite as much as it used to. Again, literally just went down with a, sol with a soldering iron, put the carbon fiber rod in, make sure it's okay, and then just hot glued it in position. So that's that done. The next bit is remove the canopy, which I've done already, but I'm just going to show you. Okay, so uh, there we are, there's canopy. Okay, I was cutting in, I've got this little sort of blade thing here. So I was cutting in with that, and eventually it's come away. So you can see whereabouts they've glued it. They glued it at the nose, or near the nose, and then two here, and one at the back here. All right, so those are the places to cut. What's interesting is it's got a little ball in there, look, because normally they're putting a nut in there, and this, if I can get it out, that's quite heavy. If I get a magnet, right, so it's like a mild steel or steel ball, which is pretty cool, actually. I'm going to keep that. So, next thing is, I don't know, I'm making this up as I go along. I know I've got to hollow out that, and hollow out the cockpit, but this is coming along really quickly. I'm probably if I if I crack on with this, I'll probably get it done today. Hey, <laughs> what fun! Okay, one solo done. Oh, let me just show you what I use for that. I've got this little like spatula type tool. Uh, heat it up with a gas um, camping gas thing. Just cut it out and then cut a line there for the servo lead. So obviously that's going to go around to there. And now I'm going to hollow out that using this spatula thing. And also hollow out that as well. Okay, that's well, looking better, isn't it? Nicely hollowed out. And so is that. Nicely hollowed out. Good. So that should now still perfectly go on there. Yeah boy. Okay, next stage is I've just gotta just cut a little bit more there. Just so the servo lead, because I've took the servo lead in there. Look. Oh also don't breathe this does the smoke off this. It's poisonous. It'll give you a bad head. You'd be sick. And you'll probably die. Uh, right, next. I'm just going to finish that off and then... I don't know. I'll, I'm literally making up as I go along. but And I know I've got to turn that to the other side for the elevator. Okay. Uh, I've just been cutting out the ailerons with my trusty Stanley knife. I literally just used a ruler. And went right over the draw a line, cut it. And just yes, what I've done is just where the diurnal starts is where the aileron's going to be. And then, so what I've also done here is I've cut out my it's roughly 45 degrees. And of course, that is the top of the wing there. So next, uh, I'm going to do 45 degrees on this one. Then some diamond tape here because in the minute, obviously you can take it off. And it just so happens I've got some diamond tape. And obviously I've just got to trim off a little bit here because it's, you don't want any, uh, you don't want it uh, rubbing. So it needs to be free flowing. So uh, yeah, do that. Cracking on, it's looking good. Okay, Adron's done. I'll just show you that there. Oh. Need to push 
says that. I've got some diamond tape which I've used for the hinge. So, um, let's have a look. Can I get out of there? There we go. Look. So, right it on, left it on, right it on, left it on. There's a little bit creaky, which is just the diamond tape because I've hinged it in there as well. But ah, it's coming along. Now I've got to get some horns and a few bits. It won't be ready today because I haven't got enough bits for it. But it's looking good. Okay, next thing I've done is drawn around a cer uh, drawn around a servo. Okay, uh, I've just cut into it with my Stanley knife. Ooh yeah! And then I'm going to just cut it out using this special tool. Hopefully you'll be able to see that. Have we got, have we got a focus? With my trusty little Dremel type tool from Liedels. I'm not going to film it, I'm just going to do it. One servo, done. That's nicely pushed in. Two servos, done. Yeah, boy. Awesome. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to cut a hole, probably with the hot knife, up there for the servos. I might have to extend that lead, but hey, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, I found some motors. <laughs> they should work, or one of them, obviously. This is an old uh, DJI uh, F450 drone. It's one of these with GPS, flight control, and all, all the rest of it. So, um, and I know I've flown it, I haven't flown it for about, God, five or six years. Um, so I'm going to steal one of these motors and uh, I'm going to put it on the front of the glider. Ooh, yes. I would have also done this lot. <laughs> <coughs> okay, update. We have, it would appear, I'm using a 3S, which is way too big. But it's only for testing purposes. Oop. We now have. I'm going to hold it. A working. Oh. Let's just rearm that because I had the throttle halfway up. Okay. Let's have a look now. Give it some welly. Okay. We now have a motor. This is off that old drone. It'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Can't really be bothered doing anymore today. I've done plenty. I mean, you know. Hang on. I can actually have flaps, you know, couldn't I? Well. Anyway. Yeah, got a motor. I've just cut. The other way, but I've done a lot of the best of jobs. It's all right. It might work. I will tinker with it. But yeah, I can't bother doing any more today. That'll do. I've done my bit. I'm going to chill for the rest of the day. It's quarter four now, so uh, that'll do. And it's too hot to sit outside. It is roasting. I'm not complaining because we're getting a summer, and the summer's starting in May. So uh, yeah. Right, I'll do it for the minute. Mm, focus. Yeah. Right, that's it for the day. Saturday, tomorrow, I do have a job. So I don't know how much videoing I'm going to be doing or what, but, and I can't be at the job until 11 o'clock, which is a complete pain. But hey ho, it's my job. So I'll try and string a video to, together tomorrow. So, as always, Thanks for watching. If you're new to my channel, it's not not always this crazy. Well, actually, it probably is. Um, subscribe. Click the little bell for notifications. And you know, try not to sneeze on anyone. Standing within two meters of them. Stand back like this. <laughs>